Hi. Greetings from Wisdom Lord Raphael. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification icon and don't miss any contents. This is the light novel of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. If you haven't watched previous video, I will leave the link on the description box, or you can click here. Let's start. This is Tensura Light Novel Volume 16. Tensura Light Novel. Volume 16. The End of the Game. Chapter 2. Interviews. Bermura Return. Well, I was in trouble too. That's what I thought as I finished listening to the report from Ramrus and the others. It was a bigger incident than I had expected. So, is Chloe going to be okay? There are no problems. She reverted to her child form and is conscious. She's just resting in the infirmary for now, just in case. I was relieved to hear that from Shuna. I had been told from the start that there were no casualties, but even so, I couldn't rest until I saw for myself. She was probably already asleep right now, so I would go visit her tomorrow. That being said, this time, the enemy was a real pain in the ass. A strategy to use the intruder as a diversion and separate Ramras from her guards. Then use the opportunity for Dino to betray us. Dino's strength was far greater than Beretta's. Even Beretta and Apito joining forces were unable to stop Dino, and he had almost got his hands on Ramras. In the end, Ramras was saved thanks to Zijin's timely arrival, but if even one step had gone wrong, it would been a disaster. I shuddered to think about what would have happened if Zijin had not woken up in time, I was really glad that he made it in time and couldn't help grabbing my chest in relief. Still, Velgren Sen's return had come as a bit of a surprise. She was currently discussing her future plans with Masayuki and the Imperial commanders. We would have to meet and talk later, but I suppose they would all want to collect their thoughts. That being said, if Velgren Sen had protected those people, then it must have been because of Masayuki. I feel that many things have become clearer to me, but have also added more questions. Then again, I'll just think about those questions later. I looked around at the people who had just given their report to me. Ramrus, I'm so glad you're okay. It was nothing. But then again, that Dino really didn't seem to want to do anything to me, but it would have been awful if I had actually left the labyrinth. Why? If I really got serious, then I could have knocked him down with all 48 of my special moves. Ramrus was the same as always. Although she was very angry, the moment she felt safe, she would put on a show of bravery. It was kind of cute. She was still sleeping happily when I had returned, but was still talking in her sleep saying stuff like, Hmm. Dino, I'll show you all of my 48 special moves. Not only did she think she was strong in her dreams, but she also thought she was strong when not in front of me. Dino should be grateful that Ramrasama did not resort to her 48 special moves. Trainee-san, who was taking care of Ramrus, was quick to flatter her. Well, of course. Ramrus nodded happily. It because she's always like this that Ramrus gets carried away. Do it in moderation I thought to myself. I am so sorry, Ramuru sama It was poor supervision on my part. I never thought that Dino-kun would betray us. It was a drooping Vesta who said so. It seems that he wanted to come here to apologize to me as soon as possible. Vesta, who has a strong sense of responsibility, seemed to be quite depressed about this incident. So I smiled at Vesta to put him at ease. No, no, don't worry about it. Dino's been weird from the very beginning, hasn't he? When I said that, Ramrus, Trainee and even Beretta nodded. He's a demon lord, after all. I was suspicious of him from the start. I didn't expect him to do something this bold, but I had been keeping a close eye on him to make sure I could deal with him in time when he caused any problems. By and large, he also showed an unbelievably serious attitude with his work, which surprised me. It was a slew of pitiful comments that even made me think that we should have given him a little more credit. But there was no way around it. In the first place, Dino had come here because Guy told him to. Even Dino himself made no pretense of hiding the fact that he was a spy. We had every right to be wary. But I think. Don't be so depressed, Vesta said. I don't think that Dino really wanted to betray us from the bottom of his heart. That's what I really thought. Well, Dino's betrayal was to be expected, there had been the presence of his own agenda that implied that he wanted to be watched from the start. Perhaps Dino thought that this would happen someday. I couldn't help but think so. He sure is clumsy, isn't he? If that's the case, he could have at least talked to someone about it. Well, now that we became friends, I'd like to believe that. Besides, Dino might have had his own reasons. When I said that, Vesta seemed to agree. Indeed. I want to believe in him. I was once on the wrong track as well, but thanks to King Gazel and Ramur sama I am back on the right path. It is encouraging to even know that someone is there for you. Vesta's expression relaxed a little, as if his doubts had been cleared away. That's fine I thought. 
I wanted to trust Dino too. I couldn't say it out loud until I was sure, but there was another thing that came to mind. It was the possibility that Dino possessed an angelic ultimate skill. This coincidental convenience of having a unique skill evolve into an ultimate skill during combat doesn't just randomly happen. If there was such a possibility, then that would mean he had the means to make it possible. Indeed. It is not common to evolve in the midst of battle. The one who agreed with me was CL. My confidant and friend, and the one I relied on the most. While in high spirits in the heat of battle with Felgrind, I had named the Wisdom King Raphael San. As a result, the Manas, Theosophy Nucleus, an intelligent being called CL, was born. It was not a mere thinking being. As was the case with Chronoa, it also acted as an algorithmic device separate from its master. It could be thought of as another core that exists within my soul. There was no doubt that it has an ego, and its reactions were more human-like than before. Is that so? As soon as CL said that, I suddenly felt my persuasive power drop. CL had been doing a lot of things on their own, so what was it saying now? Besides, even if CL had the time to say that now, wouldn't we have been in trouble if it hadn't evolved and remained as the Wisdom King Raphael? Now that I think about it, from the moment I had confronted Rudra, or was it Michael? I was in trouble. But that was probably because he was under the influence of the Ultimate Dominion. You still have the habit of shutting up when it's inconvenient. In other words, if it hadn't evolved into CL, then there's a good chance I would have been defeated. It was only now that I realized how close the line between victory and was, and I couldn't help but be horrified. It's a hypothetical situation, so it's meaningless to wonder about what could have happened. Hey, hey, you hate to lose even more than I do, don't you? I forcibly concluded, stopping my thoughts. But well, I guess we're definitely the exception. Returning back to Dino, I think it was reasonable to assume that he was hiding some kind of power. Perhaps it was just intended to be a disguise. However, the unnaturalness of the manifestation can make us confident that he possesses other powers as well. Hmm <laughs> hmm. If CL says so, then it must be certain. In other words, since Dino also possessed an angelic ultimate skill, he was probably manipulated by Michael's ultimate dominion. Since Dino and I weren't connected by a soul corridor, there was no way to disarm it immediately, but it was still possible if I ever confronted him. Of course, there was still the possibility that Dino had betrayed us by his own will, so we could not be careless, but I had decided not to indiscriminately regard him as an enemy. That should have been the end of it, but there was another person who was depressed. I am so sorry, Ramuru-sama. I put Ramuru-sama in danger. Beretta knelt down before me and hung his head in apology. Wait a minute, Beretta-chan. You've done a great job. I agreed with Ramrus. Beretta did an excellent job against a far superior Dino. Rather than faulting him for negligence, I wanted to praise him for buying us all that time. Given Beretta's character, I was worried that he might feel responsible for his defeat, and it turned out to be true. Like with Vesta, too much seriousness wasn't a good thing. No, you succeeded in buying time as you were trained to do, and that's great work. However, Ramur Sama has entrusted me with the position of Dungeon Master, which is a key position in the defense. And Ramur Sama has entrusted me to protect Ramur Sama. And yet, here I am, in such a state of distress. Beretta was not convinced by my words, and continued to get more upset the more he spoke. Perhaps he was very frustrated, but Beretta's actions were all appropriate. With Dino as an opponent. Beretta did his part well with the correct understanding of whether or not he could win. If he had misjudged a situation with a lapse in judgment and made a reckless assault, Ramrus would have been taken by now. I didn't even want to imagine the damage that would have been done. So I tell you, Beretta, you should be more proud of yourself. Beretta finally calmed down when I praised him for his excellent work. As it turned out, the enemy's strategy had been thwarted. In other words, Beretta and the others had achieved sufficient results. If that's the case. He had calmed down, but he was still not all the way convinced. You're still troubled. Then let's talk to you about it later in my room. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Since Ramrus was safe, there was no problem. Beretta, on the other hand, was still too concerned. All in all, Beretta and I decided to talk about it later, and that was the end of the matter. After the reports from Ramrus and Vesta, I heard from Geld and Adalman next. Geld, you did an excellent job protecting the town. Thank you. I cannot say it in words, but I love this town. I will not let the fruits of our labor be so easily destroyed. My friends and I feel the same way. I will continue to work hard and try not to let Ramuru Sama down. I'm counting on you, but don't push yourself. Geld still seems to be working too hard. If he worked any harder, it would look as if the rest of us were slacking off. Geld's subordinates probably wouldn't rest either, and a moderate amount of rest and relaxation from their superiors was also necessary. I nudged Geld not to do anything too rash and then received his report. 
Apparently, the enemy seemed to be close to Dino. They were two women, Pico and Gracia. As for the identity of the enemy, Ramrus confirmed that they were subordinates of Veldanava known as the Seven Primordial Angels. They were originally Seraphim, the highest and most powerful of angels, who worked for the stability of this world. Dino was apparently one of them, but the enemies that appeared on the 50th and 70th floors were presumed to be other forces. These originals were supposed to be in charge of controlling the Otherworld by monitoring the powerful monsters that were sealed in the Otherworld. However, from what Dino told me, three of them remained on Earth. Those three people were probably Pico, Gracia, and Dino. They transformed from Seraph to Fallen and lived on Earth. It seems that their purpose was surveillance, but it was not known whether they were ordered to do so by someone else, or if it was by their own will. In any case, since all that was obtained were fragments of intelligence, one could only speculate on their intentions. The opponent's strength was considerable. If I hadn't evolved, it would have been impossible for me to resist them. That was what Geld said, so it must have been pretty bad. I heard that Pico's opponent was Kumara, and that it was also a heated battle. And yet, the fact that the opponent was still able to interfere with the labyrinth during the battle, was enough to speculate that the opponent hadn't made the full extent of their abilities. I see. That's troubling. Yes. I would have preferred not to be hostile to them, but it's too late now. I would bet on the possibility that Dino was being manipulated and think of the countermeasure. Next, there were the other forces at work. And what of Zolerio? A dolman began to report. He was a formidable opponent. Cherry's Dono and Trainee Dono were fighting him before I got there, but they were no match for him. This one was worse. I had checked the archives of the battles in the labyrinth, and it seems that the Fallen were a different race from the Phantoms. He had called himself one of the three Phantom Commanders, and said he was a subordinate of the Phantom King. In other words, that pompous Phantom King Feldway used to be the leader of the Seven Primordial Angels. The three Primordial Angels who went to the other world with him are now under Feldway's command and call themselves the Three Phantom Commanders. During their journey to the other world, Veldanava disappeared and they became unable to return. They must have transformed at some point and become phantoms. I understood completely. They were different from Dino, and it must be because of their past friendship that they had formed a mutually supportive relationship. Those were just my subjective inferences combined with my wishful thinking. I agree with you. Oh, that's reassuring. With CL's agreement, I was almost certain. In any case, the Phantom King and his gang are the enemies. From now on, everyone should be on the lookout for them. I gave everyone all the information I knew. It was mainly about Michael and Phantom King Feldway. Especially important was Michael's power, so I made sure not to hide that either. But then. Maybe Dino is being controlled. That's why Ramuru said he wanted to trust him, right? They noticed. I wasn't planning on pointing that out until I was sure. I hope I'm not just overthinking things, but it's possible that he is being manipulated. So, Ramrus, if that's the case, let's forgive him. Well, yeah. I hope so. Ramrus said so and laughed happily. She seemed to be feeling better than before, so I took that as a good sign. All that remained was to hope that Dino was really being manipulated. That's all for today hope you guys enjoy it. Please check my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification icon. And don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.